Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to control the player movement using our keyboard. We would be using the Leafwing Input Manager grid to implement this functionality in Bevy. Here's a short demo of what we are planning to achieve. We would be using Leafwing Input Manager. Let's copy it from Crates.io and paste it in our cargo toml file. Let's create an enum called player input. For this tutorial, we will keep it simple and just support three kinds of movements. Left, right and jump. We need to derive the action like and clone trait on this enum for leafing to understand what to do with it. As we can see, if we remove the clone trait, it shows us an error. Once we've created the enum, let's add the plugin. We need to pass the action like enum type which we have created. The plugin collects input from a variety of sources. It can be a keyboard or a joystick. It produces an action state. You can think of action state as a representation of the input which is generic and is not specific to the input source. Let's now create the input map. This function would map the keys on your keyboard to the elements in the enum. We are using keyboard keys here, but we could just as easily use a gamepad or a mouse input. We have configured the map here in such a way that we can either play using the WASD keys or the arrow keys. Now, let's add all the components or bundles to the circle entity which we would be using as a player. You can think of bundles as a group of components. 
we need to add the input manager bundle. Here we need to pass the key to enum map which we had just created. When moving the player, we would be updating the ball velocity. So let's add the velocity component from Bevy Rapier. If you aren't aware of Rapier, you can watch a couple of my previous videos. Let's also create and add a player component. This would be used to identify which entity is a player. So again, this entity has the player component the input manager bundle and the velocity component. Now for the most important part, let's create the system that powers the player movement. As a part of the query, we would need a mutable velocity because that's what we want to change. To get the player input or the key that the user has pressed, we need the action state. And last, we only need to filter out those entities which have the player component in it. Since we know that we have exactly one entity which is a player and satisfies these three conditions, we can use single mute. If the user has just pressed the jump button, we change the velocity in the y direction, that is, we move the player upwards. If the player has pressed the left or right key, we move the player accordingly right or left. Do note here that for right and left, we have used pressed because we want the player to keep moving left and right until the key is not released. Whereas for jump, we do not want the player to keep moving upwards. We just want it to happen once on key press. Let's add the system to the app. Cargo run. And there you have it. We are controlling the ball with keyboard input. Thanks for watching.